Wands at the ready. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the Weekly Fangirl. Um, this has not been an easy week. Uh, it's, it's not the video that I wanted to make this week, but I feel like it needs to be made. Earlier this week on Thursday, we got word that Alan Rickman had passed away. He was 69 years old and he passed away of cancer. He was the second victim of cancer to lose their battle this week, David Bowie being the first, of course, back on uh, early Monday morning. Now, I'm not a huge David Bowie fan, I mean, but ev everybody knows about David Bowie. Of course everybody knows about him. He's, I mean, he was a style icon, he was a pop culture icon, an icon in music and film, uh, in the LGBT community. He's a, a big, he's been a household name for decades. And of course, I was shocked when I found out what had happened to him. Um, because of course, uh, you, you don't expect it, you know, I mean, one minute he's here and then the next, you know, just gone. But it really didn't hit me very hard. I mean, I, as I said, I wasn't a huge fan of him. Not to say that he uh, didn't have amazing music, he did. Not to say that he wasn't an amazing actor, because he was, absolutely. But I just didn't follow his work very closely, so it didn't really hit me very hard. But on Thursday morning, that was the first bit of news that I got. As soon as I woke up, I went to check my phone to check Twitter, as I always do, um, and the first thing on my timeline was that Alan Rickman had passed away, and I, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to feel. I immediately started going through my timeline, seeing, you know, what, was it a joke? Was it another one of the really fucked up uh, celebrity death hoaxes that seem to happen all the time? I know, why do people do that? That's not funny. It's just really fucked up, and it gives a lot of people metaphorical heart attacks because they think they've, you know, lost somebody. That's really a terrible thing to do. Whoever's doing that really needs to stop. Sorry. Anyway. So I went through my timeline and I scrolled through, scrolled through, and it started cropping up more and more and more. My followers kept saying, you know, R.I.P. Alan Rickman, R.I.P. Alan Rickman, goodbye professor. Um, and then news outlets started tweeting about it. And then entertainment outlets started tweeting about it. And more and more people started to put it out there. And I I immediately, I, I started crying. What else to do? I started, I started reading everybody's tweets, and I, I went on Tumblr. It was all over Tumblr. It was on YouTube already. Nerdist News had talked about it. A lot of other channels had talked about it, and I started bawling. Because here's the thing: Alan Rickman, for me, has always been Snape. I started watching Harry Potter films when I was around like ten. You know, they, they came out when I was still a kid, and I've grown up, my whole life has, I mean, clearly, has been Harry Potter this, Harry Potter that. And Alan Rickman has always been Snape. Now, Snape, to me, is not my favorite character by any means, I won't say that, but, you know, I mean, when you, when you grow up with someone so prevalent in, um, in this fandom for you, that's, it, it really hurts. Uh, to lose them. I know I'm not the only one. I know there are people all over the world right now that are taking this very hard. I know that his family has got to be devastated, that his close friends, the people he's worked with are sad to see him go. Um, I mean, that's, and that's the thing too, is that while Snape may not have been one of my favorite people in the world, I mean, Alan Rickman was a, a, a gem of a man by all accounts. You know, everybody that's ever worked with him, everybody that's ever been close to him has had nothing but good things to say about him. So, I mean, when you find out that somebody like that is lost it, a month before his birthday, first of all, second of all, he, he lost his battle with cancer and that's hard. You know, that's it's hard to hear a story like that, especially coming right on the heels of the David Bowie thing, because again, they were the same age, they died of the same cause, they died within three days of each other. David Bowie two days after his birthday, Alan Rickman a month and a week before his birthday. He would have been 70 next month. And he didn't make it. That's really sad. Um, and this whole week I was debating whether or not I wanted to make this video, but I feel like if I had gone on with my regularly scheduled video, I was going to do this whole Marvel tag. If I had gone on and made that video, I feel like it would have been an insult to his memory, because I am a proud Potterhead. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but for those of you that don't, hi, yeah, Hufflepuff and proud. But just because I'm a Hufflepuff does not mean I can't pay respect to a Slytherin. And with that in mind, I would like to say to every Slytherin out there that have lost their head of house this week, I am so sorry, um, and I raise my wand to you. To Alan Rickman's family, to his friends, to every colleague he's ever worked with who has lost a, a great person in their life this week, I am so very sorry for your loss. Um, we're all with you. 
we we all feel it too and you know the the main thing to take away from all of this is that he's not sick anymore he's not in any more pain he's not suffering wherever he is now he's okay and that's really all anybody can ever ask for you know what i mean nobody was really expecting his loss but now that he is gone what we can take away from all of this is to remember him as he was he said something once that was um that along the lines of if you want to know me it's all in the work look at my work if you want to see me that's where you'll see me best and I think that that is the only thing we can really do now is to remember him as he was, to go and watch his movies, and to remember him in, in the best way we know how. And for me, at least, that will be with going back to the beginning and watching our resident potions master make Harry's life a living hell. <laughs> May not have been everyone's favorite character, but he was the hero we needed when push came to shove, and we will remember him always. Bye, Professor. We'll never forget you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that this video is a little bit heavy. Um, my videos are usually not so down, not so somber. They're usually a lot more lighthearted, but I just felt like this one needed to be made this week. I felt like it was appropriate. If you'd like to see more of my videos, though, and you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I make new videos every Sunday, and next week we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled fangirl reads, as I promised last video, that it would be every two weeks. Until next time, I have been Miranda. This has been the Weekly Fangirl. Never let go of the magic, you guys. I'll see you next week. Knox.